Hi there, this is Doogie from Ultima Wild Guide, and in the next few minutes I will show you the first and only in-game automated guide for leveling your character 1 to 80 using the Dungeon Finder, and gear your character with some of the best items in the game for leveling. Are you tired of leveling guys that don't support leveling with Recruiter Friend or Heirloom items? Are you tired of leveling guys that don't support the biggest part of World of Warcraft? So what is the biggest part of WoW? World of Warcraft is a massively multiplayer online game. The game is designed for you to interact and work together with other players. And the worst problem that has plagued leveling guys for years is that it doesn't support leveling in dungeons. Did you know that players are able to enter a dungeon and get massive rewards in almost all levels? But most players who use leveling guides often don't enter any dungeons until they're level 80. This is because in the past it was really difficult to look for 4 other players to complete the dungeon with and you end up wasting your time looking for group when you could keep questing solo instead. This is no longer a problem ever since Blizzard introduced the dungeon finder system in patch 3.3. Now the system will automatically find a group for you and teleport you instantly into the dungeon. All that is great, but what about the dungeon quests? There are plenty of quests for every dungeon that you enter, but standard leveling guides are always designed to get you from level 1 to 80 solo. So in fact, all leveling guides on the market today will steer you away from dungeon quests. Which is why most players who use leveling guides are skipping doing dungeons altogether. Now with the dungeon finder, there's absolutely no excuse not to do these dungeons. Here are the benefits from doing dungeons. It is the fastest experience gained per hour. Leveling with 4 other players means you'll be killing monsters non-stop with the help of your group. There is very little downtime and elite monsters will give you more experience as well. You get to complete dungeon quests. Dungeon quests provide double experience points. Because dungeon quests are considered more difficult by Blizzard, so they have increased the rewards to encourage more players to enter dungeons. So completing 4 dungeon quests, for example, is almost like completing 8 solo quests. Not to mention you will also get better rewards. Dungeon quests often provide you with the best rewards in the game for your level. Solo quest rewards are rarely as good. You will get the chance to experience every aspect of WoW. Experience the thrills of battling unique monsters and bosses and gain the best rare blue quality items. You don't have to put up with leveling with green quality items anymore. You get to play as a group. The game actually becomes easier because you have 4 other players helping you to complete your quest. And of course you get to have more fun. Playing the dungeons means you're exploring every part of World of Warcraft. Grouping together and killing tough bosses in the dungeons is the best part of the game. Well, all that is great. But there's still a big problem on how to get these dungeon quests. Because without dungeon quests, you will miss out on massive amount of experience and rewards, which is very inefficient for leveling. And doing dungeons is also less fun without quests. You really need quests while you're in there to make it twice as rewarding and twice as fun. We have now made it easier than ever for you to include dungeon while leveling with Doogie's Dungeon Leveling Guide. Doogie's Dungeon Leveling Guide is designed to work as a standalone leveling guide. You won't be able to use the Dungeon Finder until you're at least level 15, but we recommend you begin at level 16 because you will need to train your class skill at level 16, such as taunting for tanks to make it much easier. The path that you will take from level 1 to 16 is different than our solo leveling guides, because you will need to also complete the prerequisite quests for your dungeon quest at the same time. When you reach level 16 with our dungeon guide, you should have a quest log full of dungeon quests, and you should be ready to enter your first dungeon. Each guide is separated by different dungeons, so you can begin and pick and choose any dungeon that you want and begin following the guide to complete the prerequisite quest and pick up your dungeon quest before you enter each dungeon. And we also don't stop there. While you're inside the dungeon, our guide will keep working for you to tell you how to complete the quest and the order to complete them in. A big problem with the classic and burning crusade dungeon is that they don't contain any maps. This makes it very difficult to navigate if you're in there for the very first time. Again, we have set another standard for in-game guides, by including an in-game detailed dungeon map for classic and burning crusade dungeons. 
While you follow a simple step-by-step -step guide, you will see an instruction eventually that will show you the dungeon eye icon for you. That means it's time for you to queue up with the dungeon finder to find a group. This will usually take less than 5 minutes. It is faster if you're a tank or a healer. So while you're waiting, I highly recommend you take this time to open our guide in large view and review our guide for the upcoming quests and also view the maps. For my character example here, he is a level 16 warrior and I've just completed the level 1 to 16 guide and he has about 10 dungeon quests to complete. He's pumped and ready even though he's only wearing green, white and even grey quality armor and weapons. But all that is about to change as I will get a lot of blue quality gear from the dungeons. So let's test this guide and I'll show you how well we can level in dungeons. Currently I'm at early level 16 with about one gold in my backpack. I will enter Rage Fire Chasm at 5.35. So that only took me about 45 minutes. Now I can zone out and turn in all the quests and I also got a couple of good blue items for my character, like my bracer and my sword. And once I've turned in all 5 quests, I've gained almost 50% worth of experience up to the next level, as well as added rewards. Now I'm ready for the next dungeon, which is Wailing Caverns. Wailing Caverns is a particularly large and confusing dungeon for lower levels, and it would normally take me a couple of hours to complete. But with the help of our guide and map, you shouldn't have any problems. There are a ton of bosses to kill in this dungeon for awesome blue items. With each boss killed, there's a good chance that you will get an upgrade. And the trash monsters also have a high chance to drop valuable green items and gems. And you can sell these in the auction house later for a lot of gold. So we have managed to complete Wailing Caverns at 12.05, which is just over an hour. And it, which is pretty good for a Wailing Caverns run. And now I'm about 20% past level 19. I will turn in all 5 dungeon quests and see how much experience I will get. Dungeon quests often reward double the amount of experience versus a solo quest of the same level. So completing 5 dungeon quests is equivalent to completing 10 solo quests. I had to complete one of the quests partially outside the instant. Which is very easy to do now because my character is now over geared for his level. I've gained a bit of experience doing that. Other than that, all the experience that I'm getting now is by turning in all the quests which gave, gained me an entire level. I also got some awesome quest reward which is a weapon and it is actually better than an heirloom weapon of my current level. I've also gained a lot of gold and not from items to sell at the auction house. I simply use auctioneer and price them at the recommended setting. It is important to gain lots of gold at the same time while you're leveling because you, at level 20 you will need to afford your first mount which costs about 5 gold total and I was able to afford that without any problems and the cost of training of my level 20 skills no problem at all so as you can see from the proof that I've just shown you leveling in dungeons is the way to go never settle for a leveling guide that only supports solo leveling and what we have here is also the true guide for recruiter friend and heirloom as you can easily pick a dungeon guide that suits your level and run with it our dungeon leveling guide uses our Doogie's Guide Viewer V4 add-on, which you can download for free with our level 1 to 40 guide. Simply you enter your email below and you will receive a free download link. It contains all the new V4 features, which is simple and easy to use. Zinking your character and skipping quests is easy with our new chain quest linking and our unique quest level feature, which will give you total control on how you want to progress. The dungeon leveling guide is designed so you can level 1 to 80 with our dungeon guide alone. But you can also use it alongside our leveling guide if you wish to continue leveling up by questing solo. Our add-on will auto zinc and our chain quest linking feature makes it easy for you to instantly switch and zinc your character between the two guides. If you're one of those people who haven't done much of the old dungeons, now is the best time for you to get this guide. You will get to experience the rich storyline and gameplay the way it was originally designed by Blizzard. And when Catalysm come, a lot of these classic dungeons are going to disappear and it will be too late for you to experience them. Make sure you sign up to our newsletter below to receive our updates and there's a huge reason as to why you want to be on this newsletter. As always, we will have a launch special and prizes which we will reveal later on on our next video. You will also receive our Doogie's Guide 
4.1 add-on update with all the latest features and it comes with a 1 to 40 leveling guide absolutely free.